My name is Rex Proctor. I'm the Global Support Manager here at Sports Tech, and today I'm reporting to you from Kauai. I was out on a jog this morning and I ran into my friend Santi, and he has the new Intensity Extreme device. We're very excited about this device because it now gives us the ability to capture high definition from HDMI. We're all familiar with HDMI. We know that the cameras are now all moving to this standard. So this device uses Thunderbolt and it's bus power, which is great for when you're on the road or in an environment that you don't have power. Now, it also supports your standard analog connections. So if you're in a coach's environment where you only have standard, maybe from the TV truck, you can use this connector to uh, capture those images. Now let's take a little bit closer look at the device. On the top here it shows us that this is our Thunderbolt connection. We've got HDMI in, HDMI out, and the breakout. Now the breakout cable is how you're going to connect your analog signals to the device. So here, the really the only one you're going to want to worry about is your green, is your Y in. If you're capturing composite video from say a television truck feed, you're going to look for the green connector. Now the second connector we're going to show here is the Thunderbolt. This is about a $50 cable. You plug it in here and it plugs into the side of the computer. So note that you have to have a computer that supports Thunderbolt. So look for this little lightning bolt uh, symbol and it plugs in like that. And I mention again, this is a bus powered device so it's very very convenient to use out in the field. The last connector is your HDMI. That would plug into the HDMI input in this example, and that's going to be our camera feed. With our camera and capture device connected, I'm now going to walk you through configuring your Intensity Extreme to work with sports code. The first place we start is our system preferences. So jump in there and look for the black magic design. Click on the icon, and we want to set up our input. So we're using HDMI video and audio, there's various inputs. If you were using component or composite or S-video, you would set that accordingly. The next item I'd like to set is the set default video standard. Here I'm in the United States and we're using a camera that supports 1080i 5994, which is the frames per second basically. With that set, I can close system preferences. And now I'm going to jump over to the Blackmagic Media Express. Now I like to set everything up in here because this software is designed to work with their hardware. So it's great in a troubleshooting manner to use their software and their hardware together to make sure um, that you don't have any issues there first before you jump into SportsCope. And as you can see, I've got a beautiful feed coming in of the environment around us. So once we have the feed going in there, we must quit the Media Express application. Once Media Express completely shuts down, jump into Sports Code and open up the capture window. Now you can see that my image opened up immediately. If you don't see a picture, you need to set your source. So here you can see we have lots of sources. What you need to do is make sure that you match the camera source to the source here. So if you have a camera that's outputting 1080i, you need to match that. In our case, ours is 1080i 5994, and so that's what I choose. We recommend that you capture progressive whenever possible. So set your camera up to output 720p or 1080p. You're going to get a much, much better image. If you have the option between 1080i and 720p, I would go for 720p. It really is a lot better looking. Now once we get the image in there, let's choose our codec. For capturing high definition, you really only have two options. You have Apple Intermediate and H.264 HD 720. If you don't have the HD 720 option, that means that you're not running the new Lion operating system. So get that installed and you'll get this nice H.264 HD option. Now I recommend that you use Apple Intermediate. It's going to give you better quality. This codec is meant for editing. The H.264 HD 720 isn't really a true editing codec. It creates a very small file, it's great and convenient, and yes, of course you can use it, but it will sacrifice a little bit of quality. However, maybe for most people, the size sacrifice over the quality is you know, really where you want to go. So, use either one of those options. 
If you're capturing high definition, you must have an i7 processor and at least 8 gigabytes of RAM. Capturing high def is very hard to do. So I'm going to choose Apple Intermediate and I'm going to set up my Blackmagic Audio to capture using AAC high quality. Don't use the device native unless you're an audio freak. You may like to have really high quality, quality audio, but at the cost of about a gig an hour, it's probably not worth it. Your AAC quality gives you uh, uh, high quality, gives you uh, about a CD quality. If you're really not fussed with it, use voice quality. For most matches, when you, you know, you're not recording a voice or anything, voice quality is going to be good enough, and you're going to even squeeze out a little more out of it. Okay, now we've got everything configured. Just fire up a capture, and away we go. So that does it for our demonstration and talk about the Blackmagic Intensity Extreme. It's a great device. We're very, very excited that finally we're making that jump from Firewire and going into this new technology. Thunderbolt's going to give us a lot of neat devices that are going to give us really high-speed transfers and, uh, and networking, I think, in the end, too. Anyway, thank you again. We'll speak to you later. The lassie skies of blue and icy Clouds of white and the brightness of deep